Welcome to Consciously Natasia. My name is Natasia. Just coming by tonight to share a quick meatless meatball recipe. These keep well in the freezer and I'm serving them up tonight with a little bit of pasta and some fresh mushrooms. Take some notes, get ready to roll some meatballs, and let's get to it. For this recipe you will need one can of black beans rinsed and drained, tomato paste, Worcestershire sauce, Himalayan pink salt, crushed red pepper, Italian seasoning, dairy-free Parmesan cheese, and quinoa. You will also need two cloves of garlic, shallots, and fresh oregano. This recipe calls for one cup of cooked quinoa, so I'm just going to get that going before I move on to the beans. I'm spreading my black beans onto a sheet pan prepared with parchment paper. They will then go into an oven preheated to 350 degrees to bake until they are nice and dry. Now comes the fun part, which is preparing all of these shallots. I'm just going to clean them up, take all the paper off, and then I'm putting them aside so I can toss them into the food processor. For this recipe, it really doesn't matter if the dice is perfect, so the food processor is your best friend when it comes to those shallots. Chop them up. I also threw the garlic cloves in the food processor with the shallots. Now it's all going to go into a hot pan with some olive oil to be tossed until they are just about translucent. It smells amazing. And now it's time to prepare the herbs and spices. I'm chopping up the oregano as finely as I can, and the recipe calls for about two tablespoons. The rest I'm going to add to one little bowl to add to the food processor when it's time. In addition to two tablespoons of oregano, you will need one half teaspoon of crushed red pepper, two tablespoons of tomato paste, one and a half tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, you can also use all-purpose, but Italian is what I have on hand. And about one teaspoon of Himalayan pink salt. The beans take about 10 to 15 minutes to dry in the oven. You know they're ready once they've split open. Add your beans to the food processor and pulse until you have a nice coarse meal. You will then add one cup of cooked cold quinoa and pulse it again so that everything is well incorporated. And now you'll add the rest, including the shallots, everything that went into the little bowl, and half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Give it a nice continuous blitz from here until you can see that everything is well incorporated into the consistency of hamburger meat. And now for everyone's favorite part, the rolling of the meatballs. I'm using about two tablespoons per meatball. I'm just rolling them up and putting them back on the same parchment lined baking sheet that I used to dry out the beans. I feel like rolling the meatballs is one of the more time consuming parts of this recipe, but it's also the part where you can see the light at the end of the tunnel and you just can't wait to eat. Now that these are all rolled up, I'm just going to let them rest in the fridge for about 15 minutes while I prepare my pan. I have heated about two tablespoons of olive oil in my largest skillet. I've also turned the oven up to about 375 and I'm adding my meatballs here and I'm going to give them a little toss to get them brown on the outside. And now that my meatballs are nice and brown, nice and crispy, no longer sticking to the pan, I'm going to cover them with some marinara sauce and I'm going to finish them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. To 
tonight I'm serving my meatballs with a little gluten-free pasta and I'm going to toss those up with some farmer's market ready oyster mushrooms. Just keeping it simple. It's been about 15 minutes and these meatballs look perfect. This recipe never disappoints. Let's plate it up. This is such a versatile and delicious recipe. You can really use it in any way that you would use regular meatballs, including meatball subs. So, so good. I'm just finishing these off with a homemade vegan Parmesan cheese. I will leave that recipe below. And I really hope you enjoyed today's video. These meatballs are truly amazing. I have batch prepped these. They keep really well in the freezer. And I probably make these for my family every couple of weeks. I highly encourage you to try the recipe. And if it means anything at all to you, they are even Ananda approved. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great week. Mm -hmm.